Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. I, uh, I think that initial sound was uh, was very, very loud. Um, but all right, welcome back to your middle of the day market update. I tried to time these with, uh, with the US opening, which is I think going on right now. I mean, maybe we can see it here. Um, we got a little bit of volatility just in general in the last half an hour or so. I expect that volatility to continue, all right? First of all, that's also what we had yesterday. Uh, this was yesterday, like the, the two hours after the US opening, in general, very volatile. So be prepared for that. Um, especially right now, I mean, th there's a lot of fundamentals we need to talk about when we look at the uh, uh, macroeconomic fundamentals. I would say that's the, that's the total market cap. But if you look at the Russell 2000, if you look at the S&P, um, the S&P actually opened much, much lower, which is uh, surprising because that actually looked relatively bullish. Um, but opened lower, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Russell 2000 opens higher. Uh, dollar strength index uh, dropped down a little bit over the course of today. So overall, macro-wise, I would say we are bullish. Also, given the fact that the S&P 500 fell down, while well, Bitcoin did not really. Um, I would say that that's more of, a, more of a bullish thing than a bearish thing. Um, but obviously, we have a lot of fundamentals, right? So, so when we talk about Ethereum, um, Ethereum is, is actually suffering a bit here against Bitcoin. Um, as you can see, I do think that matters. So, so we'll keep an eye on the inflows. Inflows yesterday were positive, but suppressed by Grayscale. Um, and I do think the inflows for the Ethereum ETF matter for the rest of the market as well. Um, but if you look at Bitcoin right now, I mean, obviously, the, the main topic right now is, is the Bitcoin conference and what will be said there. Um, I'm not completely sure when it was. I, I think it's um, like I, I think it starts tomorrow, but I'm not sure when uh, Donald Trump is speaking, because that will obviously be, be the big thing. Um, but yeah. All right. So so it's from the 25th uh, tomorrow until the 27th. Um, I believe well, I'm actually not sure who's uh, who, who, who's speaking when, obviously, or at least one of the main things that, that we're that we're looking for is when Donald Trump is speaking and then potentially um, what, what he will say about uh, using Bitcoin as a strategic reserve. And that's uh, it's a little bit too, too early to, to say anything about that. I mean, it looks to me um, like he's speaking Friday or Thursday. I mean, I, I did not see it personally there on the on the agenda for for Saturday. Um, so we'll see if we can see it right here. Um, a lot of a lot of great people speaking, to be honest, but I don't see Donald Trump anywhere. Um, so that might be so, some, some sort of a last minute thing or I'm just blind. Um, but either way, <laughs> it doesn't really matter um, because he will speak or at least I, I believe it's uh, I, I believe it's a uh, very, very uh, confirmed that he speaks. So maybe there's something that, that happens in between. But uh, Michael Saylor, at least speaking there, I mean, I, I don't, can I, can I look for it right here? Most of the people are speaking on Friday. We'll see, all right? Doesn't matter. Um, but a lot of people are looking at that. That's, um, uh, it, it very much depends on what's being said there, what we'll do in terms of the price in relation to that, right? Because it could also be some sort of a sell the news effect, um, but I'll keep you updated on that. And uh, Friday, we also have some, some news. But all right, so if we look at Bitcoin right now, we got a, a relatively bullish retest right here this, mo this morning above 60, uh, six, 66,400, managed to break above that. We are gaining some nice momentum as well. I would say still be careful, all right? I mean, it looks like we have a good chance to be bullish here, and that's great. Um, it very much is, and we're also gaining real momentum. But because of this is the, the start of the US session, and Wednesday is also a little bit of a, like that can be a very uh, uh, against trend uh, day, I would still be careful. Um, but yeah, like I said, real momentum coming in here. We also had some shorts being open, so, so those can be squeezed. For now, I am more bullish than bearish, all right? For now, I think it's most likely we'll push up towards 68,000 again. And from there, honestly, if we if we actually do have a lot of momentum, we can push push above that as well. But that's going to be hard. So this look, looks most likely. But honestly, I'm prepared for for both scenarios. So also for something like like what we did yesterday, uh, with with kind of like a bull trap into into a sell off lower. Uh, so be prepared for that. All right. And when we talk about altcoins, I think there's an uh, I think that there are some interesting altcoins. Solana, I do not think you should fade. Um, including its ecosystem, so Gito, Jupiter, Boom, 
Um, and then apart from that, um, Ethereum Beta is actually relatively weak today, but we do have some, some others like Avalanche doing well again. Um, Joe is part of the Avalanche ecosystem. Pyth and, uh, and uh, as you can see, Jupiter are part of the Solana ecosystem. So we talked about that. Um, but you can also see that Ladies and Pepe are doing quite well as meme coins. Personally, I bought Pepe earlier this morning. Um, so it's it's not it's not up a whole lot, but uh, but I do think it's doing good here. I think it looks bullish. I think it looks strong. I think especially if Bitcoin continues here, we have a chance to break out. And uh, then what, what was the other one? Ladies, ladies has been a little bit up and down, all right? So so maybe that's not the best to play around with, um, but that is showing some potential here as well. Uh, so keep your eyes on, on those altcoins, but that's uh, what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.